Uh, work does continue on the installation of piping on Church Street for the new sewer force main. Residents are advised to seek alternate routes due to the ongoing construction in the street that may hold up traffic at times. Please watch for construction workers and police officers in the roadway. Please mark your calendars for the upcoming deliberative session of the annual town meeting that will be held on February 2nd, 2019, beginning at 8.30 p.m. at the Winnicott High School. Christmas tree collections have been ongoing for the last week or so. <coughs> uh, with your regular trash collection, if you have any questions with regards to that and then the continuance of it, please call the Public Works Department to, and for any specific questions or problems you are having. The Hampton Harbor Bridge Project will be holding a public information meeting at the Seabrook Recreation Center on January 30th at 7 p.m. Inclement weather date is February 6th. That's a very important meeting. The consultant is getting ready to make up some um, reports and so forth for the state DOT. Uh, we have been notified through the efforts of uh, our deputy town manager and others uh, that the state, or the, excuse me, FEMA has approved uh, a final obligation amount of $67,657.71 for the storms that we experienced earlier last year. Uh, they are still working uh, on the obligation for the replacement of the sewer line that was damaged during one of our storm periods. So that, that's something that uh, we're working on actively. Uh, it's important that we continue to do that and we have uh, we have some uh, petitions before the state DOT and DES uh, with regards to that matter. Um, I did on behalf of uh, the town and the board today send a letter to all of our representatives. Got some pretty fast answers from some of them as a matter of fact. Uh, with regards to, to House Bill number 352 uh, asking all of our representatives to uh, please attend the hearing and sign their support on that bill. The hearing is going to be on Thursday, January 17th at 1.15 p.m. in room 210 of the LOV in Concord. Uh, that particular bill uh, will fund the outstanding uh, obligation that's been held up by the state for 70 wastewater projects since 2014. <laughs> The town of Hampton is listed as eligible for $2,869,921. The total of the eligi eligibility list is $93,158,264 for the 70 individual uh, municipalities and state. Your vote, uh, their vote, uh, is urgently needed by the residents of Hampton who have already been forced to pay the state's costs uh, and will be reimbursed uh, if the bill is passed. State total funding is $3,652,347 in fiscal year 2020 and $3,781,24 in 2021. So they have all pretty much pledged their assistance um, in order to get that bill through the, uh, the legislature so that we will be reimbursed for our prior obligations that the state is not funded for one reason or another in their appropriation bills since uh, 2014. Uh, I just want to tell everybody that your representatives and everybody involved in this has sent a real quick response saying that they'll support this and provide that, uh, support the bill and testify on it. Uh, I have been asked and with the board's permission, I will in fact write a letter for the board's support to the committee, which will be hand carried by uh, our representatives to Concord for the day of the hearing. Need if a motion. That's your opinion. Need a motion? Uh, sure. Yes, that'd be I'll fine. Make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Questions on the report? <laughs> um, I chuckled at the copy that we received showing the <coughs> red listed bridges, sort of in the thousands. <laughs> across the state. I, uh, I don't think anything is going to happen very fast on the bridge, but we can always have hope. But that was almost obscene, seeing that, all the red listed. Well, there, there are a couple. Uh, yes, you're uh, being polite. Yeah, uh, there are a couple, and we happen to be the proud owners of number one red listed bridge. 
Oh, wonderful. So maybe sometime in the next century we may get some. Um, Fred, let's see. The uh, Thank you very much. We appreciate, I appreciate the uh, notice on the, uh, from assessing from Ed Tinker uh, on the uh, report that had one discrepancy. Yeah, and they'll, they'll, and they'll do something about that report. I did notice when I reviewed uh, the state's criteria that um, they do require three years worth of information in order to do their report. So the information should have been on there, but it should have been something else added too. Okay. And they're going to correct that. So can we withdraw? The I don't think you want to withdraw it because they've, if you do that, then they're not going to be able to do the equalization study, which will hold up our funds from the state. So we can't replace it with the we'll new. We'll just replace it with a new a new with form. the new information. Yeah, with the new information. Because I really am yeah. not happy about signing something that doesn't include the correct information. So no. uh, I just uh, you uh -huh. know I, I don't have a problem. We we've been updated, and I yeah. thank you for that. Do do we get that today? Um, it's in your. Oh, okay. All right. It's in your, it's it's your it's pile. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I thought I had. Oh, and please. I really, really, really would like from Wright Pierce a description of the industrial surcharge fee at some point in time. I think that would be very nice and it would make me happy. At the moment, they are before the uh, DES and the Federal Regulatory Agency to get permission to, in fact, assess those charges. We have prepared the sewer charge, as you know, mm -hmm. and the sewer re regulations, which are now being reviewed by DES as well. They have to approve those before we could formally uh, assign them uh, and, and vote on them. Uh, so um, we're hoping that by the end of the month we'll have all that information okay. and everything will be there intact. Because the right Pierce proceed. report that we got six months ago or eight months ago, whenever it was, did reference that and reference other towns that are actually, that have actually implemented the industrial surcharge well, fee. We're not able to do that yet because the federal government and the state government have not approved it. Isn't that nice? I love it when they, well. and I have one more small thing for you that I'm going to ask. Um, I would like this board to sit down sometime before April 1st with DOT state and state representatives in the town of Hampton on Channel 22 to do a discussion of either a joint operations plan, which seems to have fallen by the wayside, or have at least a significant discussion with the state of New Hampshire on their waste in the summer season. I think we need to address, that's overwhelming the Public Works Department. And I think we need to sit down and have a civilized conversation with the Regina. state. On that note that Mary Louise just made, I agree. I think we need to not procrastinate on this any longer. Yep. Um, but before we do anything with outside of Hampton, I think we need the board to have a conversation with Attorney Gerald as to where he stands as far as all this 91A that we've requested per recommended by the judge to do, and then determine where we stand in everything before right. we talk to anyone. Yep. And I think that before we talk to the entire board, I think probably some type of, uh, you know, I was talking to uh, Attorney Sullivan, uh, Attorney Sullivan, Tom, Deputy Manager Sullivan this afternoon, and I told the board last week that I had a couple of conversations with the senator who's very, very positive and thinks that we can sit down and talk all this through. But I think we really should try to do it because we need to have elected officials and management sit down together, figure out what both sides want, what is actually possible, and then we need to bring it back to both sides to discuss. It's the only way it's going to get done. Okay. And they're, if they're afraid that people are going to be rude to them, right. get off it and pay attention. Rusty. Yes. Rick. I, after hearing Regina mention that she did uh, meet with him several times, which basically I feel that this is something that should be done through the board, um, I called uh, Tom Sherman, and he does have 
some ideas that he would like to uh, work with, I believe he said state parks. And he has uh, been a part of, a hus I believe, a hospital dismantling or something like that, mm. where he, you know, there were, it seemed like there was no answer. And he has some ideas to, to get all sides talking. And he has a responsibility to the town mm -hmm. and to the state. Great. And he would like to have a small group of people, meaning two selectmen, um, the town manager, and the representative from the state and himself, and he would like to present what his ideas are. Okay. In and public? Uh, uh, I don't believe in public. Um, and we seem to be going round and round. I think we should give him a, uh, a chance. I've been supportive of having a meeting before, and maybe this meeting would lead to a meeting in public. You Good. know, that would be the hope. And uh, okay. I told him that, that definitely there would need to be two selectmen, um, you know, representing the town. This is something that needs to be done in public that we would even yep. agree to have Good. this meeting. And I feel that I would like to be one of the representatives um, having been on the Hampton Beach Area Commission for 10 years mm -hmm. where I've worked and I understand all of the problems mm -hmm. um, with the state park and the basic problems at the beach in general. And I think I've been pretty successful working with Nancy mm -hmm. Stiles and members of the Hampton Beach Area Commission Good. to, uh, we've had a big success changing the way the parking situation was going to be down there. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest part of the success was working with the public. So, um, you know, Senator Sherman would like to uh, set up this meeting. I told him I would get in touch with him after bringing it forward here tonight. Yep. I feel that uh, if we have one meet, you know, if there's more than one meeting, we should alternate, yep. uh, alternate the selectman's representative. But I would like to be one of the ones to start it so that I can bring forth some of the yeah. experience that I've had. Mr. Okay. Chairman. Yep. Yeah, I'd like to, like to be the other one since I can yeah. bring forward some That's of the personal experience I have that yeah. is excludes the Hampton Beach Area Commission from the day-to-day -day yeah. operations of Hampton yeah. Beach. That's well, a good I live there, so I understand. Well, I, think, I think we all have a, a vested interest in what goes on at the yeah. beach. I think we all do. Right? Make a decision as a group on who's going to be on, yep. the, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. On, on the committee. So, can we put that off till next meeting so people can think about it a little yep. bit? I mean, we'll I put that off till the next meeting, and uh, we'll, we'll. I'll get in touch with uh, Senator Sherman tonight and let him know that. Okay. Um, basically, we do have an election coming up. We want to make sure that we are representative, representative by whoever mm -hmm. is sitting here at the board of select. Yeah. Right. Just, just one quick follow. -up. I represent the town of Hampton. That's who I represent. Well, you're up for re-election, so... Yeah, I know, win. exactly. I'm well aware. Okay. Thanks. Okay, just one quick follow-up. The Every other state park in the state of New Hampshire... Does this puts, have anything to do with the yes, town manager's report? Yes, it does. Report? No. <laughs> it's, it has That's to what do we're talking about, the town manager's report. Right, and we were just talking about this... Uh, predicament with the state. I have so brought, right. this, so up. We're, we're, we're I have brought the this up under the town manager's report. Um, and we all did it all the time in prior years. Yeah, a lot of stuff got done in prior time, and that's what we're paying yes, for now. Yes, well, but at that, was this stuff regarding the beach? No other state park in the state of New Hampshire has the municipality take care of the park's waste. None we're, we're of them. We, we I'm not we're through. Gonna we're going to wait till we're, we're I'm next week to get to his talk. I'm not right. through yet. Well, and, I don't want to and I don't want to continue to we see. Are, we are on. Point of order. And yeah. I don't want to. We are on the town manager's report. Yes. We have a question on his report. I this brought this business. up under his report. And so and it's, it's, we've done. And then we've gone on to other people. So, I'm Jim, do you have anything? I, I agree with the meeting on, with uh, Senator Sherman. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea to get all the information on, from um, mm. yeah, the know. attorney before the attorney before we start discussing it 
and rehashing what we've been through a hundred million times. And I did intend to bring it up under all business. Okay. So, <laughs> anything else on the town manager's report? Seeing none. And by the way, uh, this is all listed I, under old business in my. Then that's agenda. when you should bring it up. Well, that's when I did bring it up. No, we are still talking to the town manager's report. Well, You're selected. So. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. We're all equal. Whether everyone that's likes right. that or not, we're all equal. And we will go how we've run this meeting in the past. Well, I so listed no the Hampton River Bridge this. project, Fred. There's always we talked about. We didn't have any this year. We talked. We never established them. Well, we didn't talked understand about them because everybody else did. We talked yeah. about the uh, the Hampton River Bridge last our last meeting, <laughs> and it joke. was talked about the uh, in your dreams the uh, taking of property and stuff, and I and we we said we'd bring that back this week. The proposal that the state has is only one of several proposals, <laughs> and that is to either build a 40-foot high bridge or a 50-foot high bridge. Those yeah. are the general concepts. Yeah. Um, the 40-foot high bridge, uh, without building gigantic reinforced concrete walls yeah. uh, on the bridge itself as it goes up on the uh, Sun Valley side, yeah. will take down four buildings in... Hampton, and we'll take down two buildings in Seabrook, yeah. plus the interconnecting road that goes from Eisenhower down onto Portsmouth. Yeah. That road will disappear as well. Um, and the fill, although it was said in the newspaper that the fill would, would not touch those buildings, the fill diagrams that they showed to us at the meeting went all the way down to Portsmouth Avenue. Mm -hmm. So those buildings won't be there. Yeah. Uh, now, if they put some other type, and this is moving the, the roadway itself as far west in the layout of state land as they can get yeah. Route 1A. Um, they have a problem going west because there are 15, <laughs> approximately 15, I, I believe I counted 15 on the, on the uh, data sheet, um, either plants or animals that are endangered yeah. over in that dune area. Yeah. And uh, they can't dispense with those without special permission from various agencies and <laughs> governmental agencies and so forth. So um, they moving it as far west as they can, it will still do that damage if the bridge is that high. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea where 40 feet is, if you look at the control tower that's there now as they explained it to us and as I remember it, mm -hmm. you would be above the top of the control tower that's there now for the bridge surface. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if there's no dredging. Yeah. It would be, well, they still have to dredge because it doesn't make any difference how high you go. Right. You still got to have a channel underneath right. it. Um, the bridge itself would not be an opening bridge. There would be no cantilever to it Thank at all. God. You would have to go through yeah. uh, on a boat uh, without the bridge opening. So you only have a height of a certain height of the boat. Mm -hmm. That would take almost all the boats that are in the harbor now without difficulty on the 40 yeah. foot to rise of the bridge. The 50 foot would take them all, I understand. Yeah. But well, I think it's the consensus of this board, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, is that um, uh, we're open to all, all the uh, issues or all the options they have, but we don't want to see any property taken. Well, property taken would be by eminent domain. There are ways around taking the property, but it increases the cost of the bridge exponentially. Mm. I would like to say there are other people, though, Fred, that do believe that they don't have to take the buildings. Well, so if they're going to build a bridge the way they showed it to us at the meeting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. they're going to have to take the buildings yeah. down. Well, I talked to some of the people, and some of the people are under the impression that it's going to be built toward the west mm -hmm. and that it's going to come out over to uh, where the state pier is and that it might have to take part of that. Well, so, they, sh they showed us the diagrams of how far west they could move yep, it. Yep. And with those diagrams that they showed us, those buildings are gone. Yeah. Now, if they've come up with another plan, they haven't showed it to the study committee. Yeah, and the, maybe that's the case. Um, but there are, I've heard other people say that they don't feel that the buildings have to be taken. Well, I don't want them taken. I, mean, yeah. that's, I don't think they need to be taken at all. And if they are taken, I would like to see them put a toll on it and pay us for what we're going to um, lose. Well, my suggestion would be if the buildings have to be taken because of the design of the bridge, they change the design, yeah. they put a concrete 
abutment uh, or a wall that yeah. would hold that material back and put yeah. a sound barrier on top mm -hmm. because those that, at that height, the roadway will be above the top of those houses if they stay there. Yeah. So they need to have some sort of a sound barrier there to, to allow people to live there with some sanity. Well, I know mm -hmm. this is just in the planning stages, so oh, yes. I still think it's the consensus of the board that we don't want to see property taken, and if I'm wrong, let me know. I, agree, yeah. I, I don't want to see any property taken. I want to see them come back and with some other plans uh, uh, so that they don't have to disrupt those properties. Sounds like they're going to have plenty of time. So, yeah. yeah so, <laughs> At the rate is they're that doing. the consensus yeah. of this board? Yes. Um, okay. They've got yeah. some time I just to have get something else that I wanted to bring up before we talk about the warrants that people have been huffing and puffing about. If it's okay under old business. Well, we're not, we're still, I was still doing the town manager's report because oh, I brought I that up under the bridge. <sighs> so, we're in, Mary Louise, yes, would you just I'm kind just, of... I just want to say... Well, to the put, commentary you have during everybody speaking is getting very old. I want so. to just bring up two things on, regarding the bridge. I don't ever want to hear anybody say bascule again. That stupid bridge that's there oh, now is, is disgusting. But if you're talking about tolls, and you have been, that's a state... That's going to be a state bridge coming off a state highway. So if there are any tolls, the money's going to go to the state. Oh. Okay. Can, can yes. I just very quickly? There are engineers working on it. You, we're going to have to have the bridge. It's going to have to be repaired. There are people in the harbor who have to make money in a living with yes. boats that have yes. to go under the bridge. Right. Yes. So whether it's a Baskill bridge or it's a 40-foot high bridge, there has to be a bridge that boats can get in and out of the harbor. There's yep. no way you can change that. That's Correct. reality. Yep. And we need, the bridge has to be replaced. That's reality. We're fighting as strongly as possible to not take any property. I think Correct. that's the point. That's right. But it's, yeah. there are engineers working on this. I mean, yeah. The engineers do the engineers work. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, old business.